Thanks for dropping by the channel this week. Got a great episode for you. We're going to be talking about the Fujifilm Instax Mini Evo. That's a lot of words. Boy, we're just going to call it the Mini Evo. But I'm telling you, I, you know, I, I didn't expect to like this that much because the, <laughs> the size of the prints is pretty small. <laughs> but you know what? It doesn't bother me. It doesn't bother me that much considering that <laughs> what I was coming from was this right here, this Polaroid 180. What a great camera this is. Uh, and it puts out prints like this, nice and big. But, you know, things have gone. I, I only have two packs of film left for this camera, and I don't use it <laughs> that much at all. And then, of course, we have this one here, the Polaroid One Step. Remember this? Oh, yeah. You know, hey, uh, uh, Pal Detect's got one of these. He keeps pushing the button and going through film. <laughs> and I got one more for you, too. Now, this comes from my wife's family, and wow, what a beauty this is. You can't get film for this anymore. Mmm, <laughs> there you go, yep. <laughs> all metal. This is all metal. This is unbelievable. Oh, excuse me, this might be plastic on the outside here. Uh, maybe this, I don't know. I think every, th this is plastic right here. Anyway, I'm having fun with this. Uh, my wife got me this as an early Christmas present. So thanks, hon, I appreciate it. And it, I'm able to do a little mini uh, review on this thing, a user review. So after the break, we're gonna get right into using this little camera. It's a lot of fun. So this little camera is known as a hybrid camera to Fujifilm, and that's because it's got internal memory for, I think, 35 JPEGs in it. And in this little spot right here, you can fit a little uh, uh, micro SD card. And uh, it, it, that's great because what you can do is you can save tons of images in here. And the greatest thing about it is, is that you can scroll through your library and figure out which ones you want to print. And it also holds in memory a history of what images you've printed. So I think that's just, it's great. Now what I've done is, is I've, I went out and I um, uh, took a bunch of pictures, obviously, um, and, and what I've done, and I'll show you some of these a little bit closer up. But what I did was is I, I wanted to play around with the exposure a little bit because there's an exposure compensation. By the way, this is a, uh, the equivalent of a 28 millimeter F2 lens. And there's a macro mode on it so you can get fairly close. And I found that it's, uh, it's pretty easy to use. Once you figure out the, the menu system and everything, it's great. And I, so far I've, <laughs> I've really enjoyed it. I even took a selfie with it. This is a little selfie mirror right here. And it's perfect just to hold it like this and line yourself up in it or with your friends or whatever it is. And then you can print out a whole bunch of these things. So uh, what I'm gonna do is, is I'm gonna show you some of, the, some of the things on this camera that make it worthwhile. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start off with how you can change, uh, they have some, I don't know how you, what you'd call it. They're like film, they're not film simulations, they're film looks, I guess you'd call it. And then they have, uh, you know, you can turn this little lens dial right here and come up with some more different looks. Um, for the most part, you know, they're not, they're not great. I'm gonna be very honest with you, they're not great. Um, but they're fun if you're, you know, <laughs> if you wanna have fun with it like that. Um, but what I have found is, is that um, the film, there's vivid, normal, and then a bunch of other ones, you know, like red, yellow, blue, blue, I mean, just stuff that I would never even bother with. Um, but, um, and then there's monochrome. And the interesting thing about this is, is that I, I said, oh, I can buy monochrome film. So you can buy monochrome film for this thing. And I, I said, well, okay, so what happens if you use the monochrome filter in here, film filter, you get, <laughs> you get, monochrome without using the monochrome film. <laughs> See, look, here's the selfie. Ugh, ugly. But anyway, um, 
I just, you know, and there's, there's a, a bunch of really cool things on this. All right, so on the top here, we've got the film dial. We have the, we have the, uh, the advanced lever here, which starts the uh, camera printing. And then on the front, we have the lens dial, which gives you even more flexibility. And uh, we've got a reset button on top. We've got a shutter button on top. We've got the on off button here on the uh, right hand corner. There's another shutter button up here in the, uh, the, you know, the top half of the top half of the camera, which you use for doing a selfie. You just put your thumb over it and, and push the button. It's kind of cool that way. Um, and there's a flash, of course, on the top. And that's pretty much it. So it's pretty simple to use. And I got to tell you that um, some of these simulations are, I shouldn't say, they're not simulations, they're film looks. Um, <laughs> I'm kind of curious why they called it film, but uh, you know, there's the, the ones that I used that I, I tried the retro view, and I, let me show you a, a retro view one here. This is a retro view. I'm not sure what that is, but that's, you know, and here's one of my dog, and that's, that's called a, um, uh, what do you call it, a sepia. And uh, let's see, this is just a, no, oh. And of course the black and white one, Here's this is a, a vignette. So there's a vignette around the outside in monochrome. So um, I thought that was, you know, this camera does some really cool things that way. But really one of the biggest advantages of, where's my phone? One of the biggest advantages of this camera is, is that it allows you to print from the companion app that goes with this. And you scan a code and it brings you to the Apple or the Samsung or whatever the heck it is uh, store where you can grab this app, which doesn't cost anything. But the neat thing about that is, is that I was able to pull image an image off of my phone in my camera roll. This is an iPhone camera roll. Um, the other camera is probably a gallery or something like that. So I printed this, this one here. I printed this one from my phone, which uh, this was taken with this was taken with a 50 millimeter lens last week in last week's video. Was it last week's? Yeah, I'm taking with a 35 f2. So that's another really great advantage of this camera and app in combination. And what it does is it hooks up via Bluetooth. And so if you can if you can get a, an image from your computer to your phone, then you can pull it from the app and print it <laughs> on this camera right here. So that really makes it well worth the trouble. Um, now, it's $199 US and you can buy large amounts of, <laughs> large amounts of film for it. These are, uh, you know, six, six packs of 10 images a piece. They come in uh, image uh, 10 exposures, I should say. All right, so I'm gonna take a selfie of myself so you can see what it comes out like. Boy, am I ugly. I wonder what that looks like. Ooh, see if we can make this a little bit better. Yeah, all right, <laughs> it's still ugly. <laughs> All right, so what you gotta do is you gotta pull the picture up and then, oh, there's no film in here. <laughs> there's no remaining film, load a new film pack, okay. <laughs> well, that's pretty embarrassing, no film in the camera. So, you know, I just ripped open a new package and put it back in and you see, you just line up the two yellow dots there, close the cover and uh, there's a plastic cover that comes out as you can see here. It's uh, it's pretty easy to do. Not really that big a deal. So, just turn the camera on and uh, look at the back and you, know, you push the little preview button and up comes the picture that you just took. And you can uh, adjust the, the thumb wheel around it here to adjust the photograph so that it fits the frame a little bit better. I just wanted to get a little bit tighter on my headshot here 
Um, it's it's pretty bad of me anyway, but uh, I, th I thought I'd just try and adjust it a little bit to show you a little bit of how it works. And then, of course, what you do is, is you uh, go to the lever up there, in the left -hand, right hand corner there, and uh, it's the print lever. Just pull that over, and it starts thinking about it, and then it eventually starts to work. So there you go, a print of Mr. Ugly. So nothing like a 28 millimeter close-up headshot. <laughs> Actually, for what it is, the quality is not really that bad. Boy, that's a really bad headshot. Uh, you know, you really have to kind of gauge for yourself how you like the prints. Now, this is a shot that I took with this camera. This is on normal and it uh, it looked a little deep at the time. Now I kind of like it better. Um, this is with it overexposed, and that's how, how it was originally shot. And I didn't didn't really like it, so I went with this one here. So you know, it's it's an experimentation, but it's a lot of fun. And uh, I've still got some things on it that I want to try. I want to try Vivid. Um, I want to try, I want to use this monochrome film here and see if the results are any different from just shooting in monochrome and having it processed with the color film. I don't know what it's going to look like, but I got to use up this roll of 10 exposures and then go all monochrome. <laughs> so, I, you know, it might, might be just a marketing thing. I don't really know. So if you wouldn't mind, please like and subscribe and give me a comment. That would be great. And if you're thinking about purchasing one of these things, please use my affiliate link in the description. It helps out this channel a lot when you guys do that. Um, I would really appreciate it. So that's it for this week. I hope you enjoyed my rambling talk about the Mini Evo here because I'm really enjoying it. And I'm gonna, when I visit my boys, um, for Christmas, I'm going to probably bring this with me and make some shots of them. So that's up for this week. And remember, it's not what you photograph, it's how you photograph it. And we'll catch you next time.